Hi guys, hello, another video for you. Something a little bit different today. I'm going to focus on some software called Wallpaper Engine, which we can use to customize our desktop with these sweet animated wallpapers, which we could also send to our Android phones as well, which is kind of nice. But wait, there's more. Should you happen to have Corsair or Razer devices that have RGB lighting, they too can be synced in with some of these themes. And Corsair's IQ software also controls Nanoleaf lights, Philips Hue, Asus motherboards, and their graphics cards that have RGB integration. So yeah, quite a lot we can do, which is a bit of fun. So we'll do useful links and timestamps as always to help you guys out. Before we get into the software and the settings, let's just quickly show the themes that I've got installed to help you guys out. The software is very, very cheap and there'll be millions of themes and they are all free. We just need to pay for the software. So no matter what you're into, whether it's anime or sci-fi or movies, planes, cars, whatever you can think of, there's really talented people out there that have made their own themes and you can of course make your own. So we see with this classic Ferrari in the preview for it, the horizon's bouncing around, it's fluctuating, that's showing that it can pick up the audio playing on the PC, whether it's just music or sound from a video, and animate itself to that, which is kind of cool. We've got some landscapes, we can see the sea moving up to the shore, We've got some interstellar wallpapers, there's Doom there, that will actually play the music from Doom in the background if you want to, or you can mute it, it's really up to you. We've got a samurai there with the raven and the, the leaves animated. I like Top Gun, I fly the Tomcat in DCS World, a simulator on the PC, so you can see the mist moving across the deck. Some subtle animation, that's kind of nice. Got a Gundam there, we can see the sparks of electricity, mist moving across. Another Halo one there, we see the leaves moving and the glare moving across the visor. Some retro wave stuff, so the DeLorean from Back to the Future. This is kind of trippy when it takes control of your RGB, all those neon colours. There's quite a few matrix themes as well. Uh, some will control RGB, some won't. Some will let you put custom text on the screen. You have your name. You could have the clock across there if you wanted to. Yeah, it's up to you. I like JDM cars, especially classic ones. We've got the RX-7 there. It's rotary engine. You can see the rain coming down, splashing on the pavement. Some more retro wave. Another JDM car. Nissan's R34 Skyline. You can see the, the water moving on the pavement. Razor's Vortex, just cycling through those colours. It's a, a classic bedroom with the Amiga. I had the A500 back in the day. We can see the toy that's tugging on the joystick, moving that around. And of course, the monitor's animated. That's just a little bit of fun. We've got the Cyberpunk 2077 Samurai logo. There's a lot of customization with this theme. The, the person's putting a lot of work. Uh, so we'll show how you can adjust the settings a little bit later in the video. Some more Synthwave stuff, more JDM classics, the Toyota Supra. You see the splish splashing on the pavement. So what they've done here is actually record a game. This is new retro arcade Neon, which many of us would play in VR. You can create your own arcade. So the guy's done a very good job recording it in 4K. I really should record my own arcade. You might notice the banner art for my YouTube channel is Arcade Cabinets. That's what I did. Took a screenshot of this game. Uh, the way I set it up. So I never would have thought of doing this as an animated wallpaper. It's genius. So I'll have to do my own arcade and add it in to the software. So you see he's done Time Crisis as the light gun cabinet, but I've got Operation Wolf. There is no right or wrong answer. It's just what you want to play and what you like the look of. So seeing these arcade cabinets playing on your desktop and it's got audio as well is kind of fun. Done a very good job. So we've got the interst more interstellar stuff. This is Star Citizen. I've got a dying star, and we've got the ocean with the reflections of the sunset in the background. So I've spent quite a bit of time on the family yachts. I like being at sea, so sometimes I just fancy a nautical wallpaper, and the fact it's animated is kind of nice. So if it's caught your attention, you like the look of it, it is on the Steam store, £3.49, whatever that is in dollars. It's not a lot of money. You'll own it for life, and as I said, all of those themes are free and they're on the Steam Workshop and we install them through the software so it's nice and easy to do and we can see it's got that RGB integration with Razer or Corsair and the system requirements which are incredibly meagre so we'll do the useful links as always you can go to their website and have a little read and they tell us we've got the free Android companion app now, I don't think it will ever come to Apple phones because don't they lock down the home screen quite tightly I don't know I don't use iPhones 
um, but yeah I do use it with my Pixel 6a even my lock screen can have an animated wallpaper now not all, all phones will necessarily support that feature but you can certainly get your main home screen animated which is a bit of fun now some people don't like the Google services on their devices but it is on the Google Play Store but for whatever reason if you don't want the Google services you can directly download the APK file and just sideload it onto your device should you choose to do it that way so let's head back into the software let's maximize it help you see so let's just head to that samurai theme and we'll just talk through some of the options so we've got a quick preview there and we can see it's rating and you can heart it if you want to favorite it we can see how much storage it's using up so some of them are quite basic they don't use a lot of space some of them it can be a really long video that's animating so don't go silly in the wallpapers or you'll find your storage quickly disappears so if i wanted to remove it i can just unsubscribe myself and that will remove it and we can see its properties so this has got a lot of customization it will integrate with the rgb change the lighting on my keyboard my mouse and my memory and so on if you've got the rgb fans as well uh, we've got audio recording so that can pick up music or audio from videos and animate itself to that you can turn that option on and off we can change the the color scheme adjust the volume because it has music music tracks built into the theme as well we've got the mouse parallax so as you move your mouse it just changes the orientation of the logo a little bit animates it it's kind of fun lots of customizations to be done with the circuit background the devil logo itself how big you want to make it the crt effects and so on let's get to the bottom we see we've got the soundtrack so you can pick through four of the songs and of course you just mute it if you don't want to listen to that so yeah it's kind of impressive so not all themes will support the same features not all of them will do the rgb effects not all of them will pick up on the audio recording as we go through the filter results we can see which ones are mobile compatible which ones are audio responsive and so on so if you want to add new themes there's a couple of ways of doing it you can come into the discover tab now this will change every time you come in here and it just helps you see what's available because it's stuff you might not necessarily have thought to search for so it's just some nice suggestions so we've got some clock wallpapers there we can click see more so you see when you like the look of and you just subscribe to it and it will download and install it into the software simple as that and then just unsubscribe to get it removed we can do a deep dive we can head into the workshop itself and we can we can just do a search so if you're into anime just search for anime you can filter your results as we mentioned you can do it by resolution you see all these tags so yeah plenty of stuff on there it's got to be millions there's millions and millions of themes some really talented people out there and of course you can make your own uh, there'll be tutorials i'm sure online to help you do that so let's let's talk about the mobile stuff a little bit later let's just pop into displays because everybody's a little bit different you might have a big 4k tv connected to your pc up on the wall but then you have a monitor below it some people have a big screen on the wall and two or three monitors below it maybe you've just got three screens on your desk who knows everyone's a little bit different the software will detect it and we can do a wallpaper per display have a different one for each screen we could stretch it across all of them all of your displays or clone a single wallpaper and there's plenty of customization there let's head into the settings because i'm sure the number one question most people have is surely running this stuff is going to affect performance when i play games well we can adjust what the playback is depending on what the pc is doing so other application is focused we can keep it running you can mute it or pause it if another application is maximized so the window is covering your desktop well you might as well stop it or pause it because you can't see the animation can you we've got other application full screen so this is when you're going to be playing a game it takes full screen control so we'd stop it here that makes a lot of sense because we want that performance back but also some games can take control of rgb devices so mortal kombat 11 i know diablo's one there's not many the last of us part one i think that does some control as well so if you want the game to control your rgb to sync in with the game mortal kombat does a really good job of that your number keys become the health bar and it ties the colors time with your character they've done a really good job of that so it's a little bit of fun when the games do support it so we want to stop it to make sure the game can control the rgb uh, so we've got other application is playing audio so yeah we'll keep it running because we said some of these themes can hear the audio being played and then animate themselves to it so we'll keep that running if the display is asleep we can stop it free up the memory because dis the display is off you can't see it if the display is off we might as well stop it 
we've got some application rules uh, so we've got the quality there start at low work your way up depending on what your PC is we've got anti-aliasing there so MSAA is quite resource intensive so times two is like the sweet spot for quality versus performance in games so we'll do the same for the desktop here uh, I've set it to times two so the post processing effects I've set it to ultra display HDR because I'm using the 4k LG C2 OLED television as both a TV and a PC monitor and that does high dynamic range does Dolby Vision and all that stuff so might as well max it out for me you've got a different display you can change it accordingly so you've got the texture resolution you can have it automatic high quality high performance whatever suits adjust the frames per second from 30 to 60 turn our reflections on or off so under general we can have it start with Windows which would make a lot of sense because you don't want to go into Steam and load it as a game every time you want your desktop to be animated uh, it doesn't really make a lot of sense does it? so there's a couple of options I've got it loading as high priority and this loads it really really fast I've got an NVMe drive so my PC boots very quickly anyway as soon as I put in my password I'm straight into my animated wallpapers if I don't do high priority there can be a couple of seconds before it actually loads wallpaper engine so you're going to go from your static wallpaper and transition when the software finally loads up so it's up to you but I'm doing the high priority it can protect against crashes so for whatever reason should a wallpaper make your PC crash you don't want to get stuck in a loop where Windows auto starts the software loads that theme for it to crash and then you end up in this loop this repeating cycle so it will detect that you've crashed stop the wallpapers and let you adjust the settings to try and figure out what the hell's gone wrong we've got our basic settings there so the language I'm obviously English uh, but whatever your native tongue is you can choose your your language we can set up some hotkeys so you can pause your wallpapers stop them uh, and so on define those yourself and we've got the windows options so you can adjust windows color so you can have it do absolutely everything tied in with your wallpaper so if you want to change the color of your taskbar and how your windows look or you can just do the accenting colors when you're highlighting something on a menu that color can be taken from your uh, animated wallpaper as well so lots and lots of settings to tweak through we've got some virtual desktop support there uh, so the appearance of this uh, graphical user interface we can have white or Halloween we've got some fun settings there I'm just going to leave it on dark so we can tinker with our audio output so you might always want to force it to headphones for example not necessarily what the default is for your PC you can force it to your speakers or whatever you want to do so we can mess around with the video framework and the hardware acceleration and so on shouldn't really need to tinker with most of these settings so let's get to the plugin section so we've mentioned that it does RGB integration so IQ is Corsair and Chroma is a Razer so I don't have any Razer stuff so I can just turn that software development kit up but I do use Corsair IQ so let's let's show that now let's bring it up on the screen there's IQ right so you can see what I've got in my setup I've got a Philips Hue bridge I've got an Asus motherboard now my motherboard I can control the backlighting for it yours might have some more RGB zones I can control the RGB header which you might attach a uh, lighting strip to but you have what's called addressable RGB and I've got fans connected to that but sadly at the moment IQ can't control the ARGB header just yet so my ARGB fans can't be synced in with these themes that's fine the motherboard can control them and then when the games like Mortal Kombat kick in the fans kick in for that and I'm happy with that I don't need them on all the time but it's just so you guys are aware so I've got my keyboard the K55 RGB Pro it's not the cheapest RGB keyboard I do but it does do perky lighting so all of the effects can be covered and it does have those G keys six of them down the side which even some of the more expensive mechanical keyboards from Corsair don't have and they're really nice you can set them up to do all kinds of things so G6 starts and stops my OBS recordings I can turn my Philips Hue lights on and off with these buttons as well and change the color of them in the room turn on my desk lights turn off my desk lights or have the whole room lit up it's uh, really convenient there's all kinds of things you can do with it so I've got my mouse the dark core pro and I've got my memory so you might have some fans and other bits and pieces in your setup but yeah as long as we've got a few uh, set up in here we can have them controlled so let's head into settings so we've got our 
software updates make sure everything's updated I'm going to plugins because I've got an Asus motherboard I need the Asus plugin for IQ to control the motherboards uh, RGB if you've got an MSI board you want the MSI plugin so my graphics card is quite old I don't think it's supported by the Nvidia plugins there's no need for me to install that plugin so we can see software and games so we've got the software integrations and the game integrations so we can see under software and games it's picked up the stream deck software I use that's how I'm using those G keys on the keyboard and the wallpaper 32 executable is also uh, active so that's how our animated wallpapers are going to control IQ and now we've got the integration so you can turn your Philips Hue integration off you can turn the nano leaf integration off now I'll just point out right now as I'm doing this it's not really controlling Philips Hue I don't know why it used to do it we've updated to IQ version 5 so there seems to be a problem so hopefully by the time you watch this video down the road that will have been resolved with a software update and Philips Hue can be controlled but I don't I don't really want the animated wallpaper controlling the, the bedroom lights um, it's, it's up to you if you want the option uh, it should be there but at the moment don't worry about it if it's not working I don't think there's much you can do about it you'll just have to wait for a software update so as we go through our different themes so let's do the matrix and we can see that my keyboard's coming to life the perky lighting is changing the mouse it's changed itself green it's picking up on the lighting and my memory will follow suit as well they're all synced together and it's telling me the info that lighting effects are controlled by third-party software or a game so if we go to that retro wave with the DeLorean and get all those pinks and purples and stuff so that's that's kind of cool that's your RGB integration so let's talk about the mobile aspect so you need the app on your phone let me find my phone and load the app up so yeah either download it off the Play Store or side load the APK and once you've got the app open on your phone you'll be able to connect your PC so your PC is going to be either on your network via Wi-Fi or cable and your and your phone is going to be on the Wi-Fi so what we want to do is connect a new device it will give you numbers four digit pin that you can type into your phone and then you've got your, your phone paired to the software on the PC so it's telling me my Pixel 6a so I could have my tablets and, and other things connected as well other phones other devices so what we want to do is find there's the Gundam that is mobile compatible so I can right click on it send to mobile device send to the device so my Pixel 6a it will download on the phone and then on the app you just pick the themes that you've installed and it will let you choose what's focused on the display because obviously our monitors on our desktop are landscape but our phones are portrait so you're not necessarily going to get the whole screen on your phone but it does support uh, the movement for the gyroscope so as you move your phone you can get a slightly different different angle of the picture which is kind of cool so I think that covers pretty much everything short of making your own videos uh, your own animated wallpapers which would be a video for another day and I'm sure other people have already done a better job of it than I could so we'll leave the video there guys hopefully it's helped you out have a great day have a great evening whatever it is you choose to do after watching this and as always I'll see you when I see you next